The following article discusses developments in holographic technology, in the context of false flag events and public manipulation. Even more important to keep this in mind in light of recent footage of UFOs moving U.S. warships around, and a renewed push by intelligence agencies to control the UFO narrative. Subscribe to the channel. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Apparently this is how, the powers that be want the population to react to a continuous series of deceptive false flag events perpetrated against the public over many years. According to the teacher, Lance DeHaven Smith, author of Conspiracy Theory in America, the term false flag describes covert operations that are designed to deceive in such a way that the activities appear to be being carried out by entities, groups, or nations other than those who actually planned and carried them out. Contemporary events that can be labeled a false flag include the burning of the Reichstag in Berlin in 1933, which the Nazis blamed on the Communists, the U.S. Department of Defense's proposed but never executed plan for Operation Northwoods of 1962 for a war with Cuba involved scenarios such as manufacturing the hijacking or shooting down of military and passenger planes and the sinking of a U.S. ship. Near Cuba too, and more recently, the events of September 11, 2001. Now it seems that we face the imminent danger of a false invasion by extraterrestrials. Advances in technology allow this scenario to feel authentic. That's what some experts in fields as varied as physics and politics say. In this brief, exposition, we'll explore what these experts are telling us. Dr. Stephen Greer's latest discoveries in the March to April 2016 issue of New Dawn, I reported on a talk given on November 21, 2015, in Washington, D.C., by Dr. Stephen Greer on how secret government works, UFOs and deep state national security. Almost exactly a year later, Dr. Greer gave another lecture in Las Vegas, Nevada entitled The Cosmic False Flag in which he expanded his message to include information on how secret interests have laid the groundwork for a false flag alien threat. And a potential militaristic takeover of Earth shortly after World War II.3. He detailed reports received from reliable and insider sources that starting as early as the 1940s, technologies were developed in unrecognized special access projects, USAPs to carry out fake alien abductions, animal mutilations and apparently real UFO encounters to plant seeds of fear in order to condition and prepare the world for the deception of an alien threat. The purpose of such a threat is to enable the establishment of a so-called New World Order NAM. This is exactly what Dr. Werner von Braun told his assistant, Dr. Carol Rosen, before he died. He predicted that after one the threat of communism during the Cold War, there would be, too, a fabricated threat of global terrorism from rogue nations of concern then, 3, the threat of world catastrophe from an asteroid impact, 4 and after that, 4, the staging of an ET invasion. Von Braun was personally familiar with the secret technologies the West obtained from the Nazis who were brought to the United States from Germany as part of Operation Paperclip at the end of World War II. Much more developed since then these technologies include anti-gravity vehicles, electromagnetic field systems that can materialize objects through trans-dimensional means, and various psychotronic weapons that affect human consciousness. Greer mentions in her recent talk the perfection of holographic systems that look very, very real. He says these systems are in the hands of real psychopaths in the secret programs, the military-industrial gang bankster global complex of fascists who are desperate for WW3 to be interplanetary. Digital Tricks and Bluebeam Project In addition to Dr. Greer, there are several others who have conveyed similar warnings, William Arkin, in the February 1, 1999, issue of the Washington Post spoke about voice transformation technology developed at Los Alamos National Laboratory in New Mexico. He mentions what he calls digital age tricks employed as special effects in Hollywood, such as Tom Hanks appearing to shake hands with U.S. President Kennedy in the film Forrest Gump. Used by the military, these techniques can become PSYOPs, 
psychological operations, that seek to exploit human vulnerabilities. For example projected holographic images have been proposed but not used to simulate the appearance of Allah floating in the sky over Baghdad in 1990 during the first Gulf War. More recently, Mike Adams of Natural News in a February 12, 2017 article quotes several UFO experts who are warning about what could be the most bizarre event in human history, a cosmic, false flag where desperate from the world stage a massive fake alien invasion to finally complete their goal of ensuring total human obedience under an endless the aliens are coming hysteria. It refers us not only to Stephen Greer's work, but includes a link to a video by author, activist Mark Dice talking about Project Blue Beam, which uses what's called the radio frequency auditory effect to transmit and modulate non-vocals directional signals in people's inner ears. Dice reminds us that in the 1980s U.S. President Ronald Reagan suggested before the United Nations General Assembly that we might need an alien invasion to unite the world by uniting us to fight a common enemy. Mike Adams' article also includes a link to a video by former Canadian Defense Minister Paul Hellyer that echoes a similar warning. Hellyer talks about the deep state power of corporations, intelligence agencies, the U.S. military and weapons manufacturers whose collective power is incalculable. And their plan is an empire greater in size and power than any empire before it. This will put an end to all pretensions to government by and for the people. It will be a dictatorship. Of the privileged elite, in a New Dawn interview a few years ago with ufologist Norio Hayakawa, he echoed Dr. Jacques Vallée's belief that the UFO phenomenon is real, but cautions us that we cannot assume it has to do with extraterrestrial visits. Hayakawa went on to suggest that, it could even be a momentary holographic intrusion of some form of parallel intelligence. Some form of time slip, interdimensional, accident. We just don't have the answer right now, he said. Hayakawa adds. The late Canadian investigative journalist Serge Manast was the first to make the claim, in 1993, that NASA will develop this technology, Project Blue Beam. HARP, which started to be talked about in the early 1990s was basically another version of Project Blue Beam utilizing some of Tesla's technologies. If there really is a global cabal whose long-term plan is to enforce a global government, the most logical way to carry out that plan would be to create an absolutely compelling need for such an authority. Subscribe to the channel. Hayakawa mentioned the work being done at Los Alamos, Sandia, White Sands and Dulce all in New Mexico. He also reminded us of the related work of famous conspiracy theorist, William Bill Cooper and the claims of Robert Bob Lazar who says he took part in a top-secret government project in Nevada's Area 51 to reverse-engineer a spacecraft. Recovered extraterrestrial. It is interesting to note that Hayakawa and others point to military projects to create holographic projectors for psychological warfare as the likely method used to create the Arizona Lights on, March 13, 1997, an Independence Day scenario Christopher L. Ruby who calls himself a holistic visionary and runs the Heartcom network and radio show, has a page on his website that covers many ramifications of Project Blue Beam. He adopts a religious bent in predicting one of the goals of the fake alien invasion will be to discredit organized religions in favor of the world faith, thus causing more religious wars on our planet, wiping out a large segment of the population. He points to the media's attempts to condition youths to fear the ETs and submit to their invasion, shows such as the Sci-Fi Channel's 2002 miniseries of Steven Spielberg 10 episodes, Taken, M. Night Shyamalan's 2002 sci-fi thriller starring Mel Gibson about crop circles called Signs, the Star Trek and Star Wars series, and even Stanley Kubrick's 2001, A Space Odyssey. In the 1996 movie Independence Day, Earth is invaded by aliens and attacked. Can the spectacular visual effects of these films be applied in the real world? Although films such as Spielberg's Close Encounters of the Third Kind, 1977, and E.T., 1982, 
as well as the acclaimed recent arrival emphasize peaceful communication with aliens, they can be contrasted with earlier films such as The Day the Earth Stood Still, 1951, and War of the Worlds, 1953, as well as the more recent alien sci-fi horror film series, all of which scared this writer, especially at a young age. While there are many other movies I haven't mentioned, Perhaps the most obvious and blatant example of impending alien invasion is the movie Independence Day, 1996, starring, Will Smith. In short it is becoming increasingly clear that we have been conditioned to be afraid of extraterrestrials for a long period of time. On his website Christopher Ruby details the existing technology that can cause earthquakes at specific points on the planet and that can cause volcanoes to erupt. He also describes how it is now possible to produce gigantic space shows with 3D optical, holograms and sounds projected from satellites into what is called the sodium layer, about 60 miles above the Earth's surface. The sodium layer refers to a layer within the Earth's mesosphere of unbound, non-ionized sodium atoms that come from meteor ablation. Subscribe to the channel. Advances in Mind Control Techniques from an audio perspective, we know that a combination of electromagnetic, radiation and hypnosis has been, the subject of research since the 1970s. Rube quotes a researcher named G. F. Shapitz who said in 1974 that comma... The words spoken by the hypnotist can also be converted by electromagnetic energy directly into the subconscious part of the human brain without employing any mechanical device to receive or transcode the message and without that the person exposed to such influence has a chance to consciously control the input of information. This possibly indicates that many of the mass shootings we have seen in recent decades are the result of such an influence on what might be referred to as the Manchurian candidates. I believe it is safe to say that these poor unfortunates can be considered guinea pigs for testing these deplorable weapons. Although we know that the Soviets experimented a lot with this type of weapon, it would be a mistake to think that Western powers like China did not perfect and exploit these telepathic instruments. In January 1991 the University of Arizona hosted a conference entitled the NATO Advanced Research Workshop on Current and Emerging Phenomena and Biomolecular Systems in which participants were warned of the potential abuse of their research findings. In fact, we now know that there is equipment in operation at the CIA and FBI that treats the human brain and neuromuscular systems with pulses of ultra-low frequency radiation. Perhaps it is possible to make the blind see, the deaf hear and the lame walk. But we may never know. Rather, a statement made in an April 1970 Psychology Today article titled Criminals Can Be, Brainwashed now by University of Michigan psychologist Dr. James V. McConnell is more likely to be true. 12 Dr. McConnell is quoted as having said, The day has come when we can gain absolute control over an individual's behavior. The Ruby site also points us to other work being done in this area, Laurel Electro-Optical Systems in Pasadena, California, developed a transmitter for the U.S. Air force that transmits on the same frequency as the human nervous system. The U.S. Department of Defense has several publications on extremely low frequency, ELF, mind control scalar weapons. Nobel Prize nominee Dr. Robert Becker has written a book entitled The Body Electric, Electromagnetism and the Foundation of Life, which details the dangers of electromagnetic fields to humans. Dr. Sidney Gottlieb an American chemist and spy, was best known for his involvement in the 1950s and 60s with assassination attempts and the mind control program known as Project MKUltra. If it is possible to feed artificial thinking in the multigen field via satellite, mind control of the entire planet is now possible. An individual's only resistance would be to constantly question the motivation behind their thoughts and not act on thoughts they consider to be outside their own ideological, religious and moral boundaries. The new mental battleground. Fighting the inevitable the now retired Colonel Alexander, who figures prominently in the 2004 film about the U.S. Army's studies of military applications of the paranormal, 
titled The Men Who Stare at Goats, gives us a hint at how we might try to counter the effects of such mind-boggling operations of control. Dr. Greer emphasizes that we must educate ourselves about the possibilities of these new weapons. For example although the level of classified holographic technology can now produce an image a thousand times better than the one of Michael Jackson dancing on stage scene a few years after his death we need not be fooled. Question, everything, pleads Greer. The new technologies described above do not need to be used in perpetual wars. They can be used for the benefit of humanity to provide unlimited amounts of energy that make dirty fossil fuels and nuclear power obsolete. Only the few who control these energy sources benefit from keeping us slaves to them. Ending private bankers' control over money, establishing a publicly owned U.S. central bank, full disclosure of the secret government, recognizing our real relationship with extraterrestrials, the release of patents on free energy systems, a concerted effort to restore oceans and forests, and full disclosure of technologies currently being used for climate modification, chemtrails, such as HARP. But perhaps most important for all of us to see will be Dr. Greer's next effort, unacknowledged, an expose of the greatest secret in human history a new film that seeks to cover more of what we've discussed in this short article and give us additional mental ammunition to fight against Project Bluebeam or any other mind control weapon designed to make us believe we are in danger of being invaded by hostile aliens. Humanity, unfortunately, will only wake up in pain from chaos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to receive.